happy Sunday. Welcome to the studio. Froyal here. I'm so glad you've joined me. Today we're going to be doing more experiments with our textured papers, creating beautiful things for our collage artworks. And I can't wait to show you what experiments we're working on today. excited this week we're going to make some more texture papers for our collage and this is our inspiration it's called handmade roses this i buy from cami paper uh, as australian company and i absolutely love it it comes together like this and then i rip it apart to make these individual pieces you can also buy it from mulberry papers in america i think it's called whimsy anyway it's got this fabulous circular pattern on it in the paper and i just love it i've used them a lot in my 100 days of collage and unfortunately some people can't find it can't buy it can't get it shipped so we are going to play with making something based on this inspiration yay so much fun i've been so waiting to get to this busting to get to this <laughs> so i'm using both recycled tissue which i love to use i'm also using this tissue from the dollar shop it's cheap as bro and it'll work fantastic now we're going to try a few different options a few different uh, techniques and we're going to have a lot of fun so the first thing i want to do is real basic is just um scribbling the circles onto the tissue this is a fine line applicator, which I love. Can't you tell by the paint that's all over it? <laughs> I've also bought these ones new recently. This is the packet. I can't remember where I got it from. It might have been Amazon. Maybe fine line applicator. That's all you need to know. And you can find it if you want to. I've just put a fluid paint in it. And I absolutely love using these because they are so simple. Now, this is going to be the easiest, basic and simplest technique for creating that kind of feel with our fabulous papers. So basically, I'm just scribbling a circle on my tissue. I mean, you can't really get any more simpler than that. <laughs> I absolutely love doing this. It's fun. It's therapeutic. <laughs> and it makes great elements for collage. So the first thing is scribbling with a fine line applicator. Now I've just put a fluid paint in there. It can be any brand or any one of them. It just needs to be fluid enough to come out of the applicator simply. This is fabulous because it's got a little sharp thing that you put into to stop it from clogging up. That's the beauty of it when you can see it and get it back in there. So I'm going to make a few of these because I think it's really fun. What I really like about doing this particular process is they're all unique. Every time you create a shape on your tissue, it comes out just a little different. And that's really fun when you're using these elements to put in your collage to have all these different shapes. You can have different sizes. I mean, you don't even have to do circles. If you're not into circles, then do a different shape. But we are being inspired by the fabulous um, handmade roses paper. So I am going to keep doing circles until your eyes are falling out of your head. <laughs> so... That is simple technique. Use the fine line applicators and basically scribble on the tissue. I just love it. I think it works really well. And it's really a simple way to start. So, of course, I did some in my favorite bronze, my um, golden iridescent fine. I love it. Look at that. You can do different sizes. And what you can do then is just rip them out of the tissue and put them on your collage like I've been doing with the um, other papers. It works really well. Look how fabulous that looks. I love it so much. So I did some bronze, some black and some white, 
So when I want to use different elements for my collage, I can just tear it out really easy. It's as simple as tearing out one of these ones and I think that's a really um, economical and simple way to create that kind of element for your collage. I think they look absolutely fabulous. I'm quite surprised at how good that come up with such a simple technique. Now, if you want them to be thicker or raised, you could always use dimensional paint to just scribble on the tissue like that, and that would make them thicker and more three-dimensional. The possibilities are endless. You could just take a simple technique and really develop it and push it into a few different areas of where you want it to go, depending on what materials you want to use. Now, if we want to take these papers one step further, we could do that matte medium coating on them like I was showing you last week, because that just makes them a little bit more rice paper like. So let's do that next and see how they look. Now, if you watched last week, you would have seen me do this technique. If you didn't, because you know, your Wi-Fi crashed. <laughs> Why else wouldn't you be watching, right? Or something happened in your world. I'm putting matte medium on a plastic file folder. You must have it on plastic, a good sturdy plastic, so you can get your paper back off again. And what we were doing was we were creating a look more like rice paper and experimenting with how the matte medium affected the tissue. So I'm going to do that with the beautiful scribbly circle. I've got the matte medium down. It's in a bowl. I've put some water with it just to make it smoother. And then it goes on like that if you want to have a more detailed explanation you can watch last week's but i want to see how these beautiful circles turn out with the matte medium process because i think that will make them even more rice paper looking and that could be really cool so we'll put this on here and then we'll let this dry and see how well these beautiful circles come up. I also found last week that they were a lot easier to tear than I had imagined. I actually thought with the layer of matte medium that they might be stiffer, but they're not, they're really cool. So tearing out the elements and the circles um, to use in collage will be really, really easy. I think this is a really cool idea. I think it'll work really well. I do. I just think it's going to work really well. Now, if you're doing this technique, don't forget you want to just push the edge of the tissue like that so you can easily grab it to tear it off the plastic uh, so it comes up easier. Otherwise, it, you just need a little edge to, get a, to um, lift up the tissue. It's just helpful, you know, right? So I'm loving how these circles look with just the scribbled paint on it. I know it's really basic, but it makes me happy. So I'm going to put that aside to let that dry. And then what are we doing next? So in my Facebook group, there's been quite a few discussions about how to make these papers for the ones that can't get them at their place. So thank you to the beautiful girls. <laughs> I just love my Facebook group. Now, if you want to join us for all this fun, you just have to answer the admin questions and you're in. Man, it's not hard. Come and join us. We have a great time. Now, um, one of the girls was using string gel, the Liquitex string gel, and she was also trying the tar gel. So I'm going to have a little play with both of those and see how close we get to create the handmade roses. Now, these mediums are quite similar uh, in what they do. They are basically a fabulous acrylic medium that has a glorious stringy consistency. I mean, you've just got to love that. <laughs> so the idea was to create the fabulous roses shape using the string gel, which was a really good idea. I loved that idea. I said, yes, I'm going to play with that idea. <laughs> now, I'm just putting it on my clear um, folder, the plastic 
file folder. I'm just putting it onto that to show you. This is going to be step one. Look how fabulous it looks. It's just clear. Now I'm thinking we should be able to peel this off the plastic like an acrylic skin, right? And then we could use that element for collage. Well, that's my theory. So this is the string gel. I've added a little bit of black paint. You do have to wait a little while when you add the paint to the mediums because it kind of messes with the chemical makeup of them and they stop being so stringy. But if you just wait a little bit until it all kind of settles down, then it works really well. Look how fabulous that looks. Hello, I'm loving it. That is just glorious. The string gel is so much fun. Now I'm hoping that this glorious pattern will then come off my plastic file folder and then I could stick it into a collage. So it would be a piece within itself. I mean, it's all acrylic paint which is basically liquid plastic. So I'm hoping my theory is correct. <laughs> but I guess we're going to find out, aren't we, once it dries. Now, the thing with the tar gel, I've got this in little glass jars because I wanted to mix in some paint. I actually mixed in some ink with this one to see how that would respond. Now, Golden, it does say that when you're using the tar gel and you're adding paint to it, that you need to let it sit overnight to get back to that consistency of the stringiness of it. And it does definitely seem to be like that. I think the string gel is probably better in that it handles adding paint a lot better. I don't know. That's just what I think. If you're going to get one of these products, I'd be getting the string gel. So what I've found is depending on how fast you move, um, the, the gel, it creates different patterns. The string gel is really quite cool. I think I, yeah, I think I like it the best. See how it's creating that crazy scribbly mark? So this one I'm putting on tissue. And then I can tear out this beautiful element and add it to my collage. I love the way it creates these crazy little scribbly lines. The higher up you are using the gel, the more uh, stringy and scribbly it becomes. The closer you get to your paper, the thicker it is. So you can kind of vary the line, which is really fun. I'm using my palette knife because I can, <laughs> because I love it. <laughs> um, but you could use a brush, the back of the brush, a stick. It really is endless what you can do to create these beautiful patterns. So see how if you go up really high, it kind of makes the line thinner and it makes it thicker if you're closer to the paper. Also the speed seems to change the form of the line as well, how fast you move it around. I'm really loving this. It's incredibly therapeutic, I'm just saying. <laughs> it's really, really fun. And it's creating incredible marks, yay. So this one is on tissue because I think it would be fabulous to then once it's dry to tear that piece out and use it for collage. I mean, oh my gosh, I know it's simple, but it's so effective and so much fun. So, I mean, we could put it on anything. Really, it's quite endless. So this is one of the pieces of paper that I made last week with the fabulous bubble wrap print. And then I've coated it with the matte medium. And I mean, we could just add beautiful string gel, handmade roses shapes onto that and it'll be glorious. I was amazed at how well these papers tore into the shapes that I wanted. They worked out really well. So you can actually add 
this idea and this particular medium onto really anything. Anything is possible. <laughs> that is just so much fun. <laughs> Did I mention? <laughs> now, I really like the shiny plastically look of the string gel and the tar gel medium, but not everybody likes that plasticky shiny look. So then I was thinking, well, what about we make some in like a texture paste? So I pulled out some light molding paste. Now why I pulled out this was because it's light and I wanna put it on tissue because I really like the idea of tearing out the element and putting it in my collage, just like I do with this paper. So I'm like, you could use any texture paste, but I thought I'd try the light molding paste because I wanna put it on the tissue, but truly you could try anything, whatever texture paste you've got. And then I thought, well, how am I gonna squeeze it on there painlessly? <laughs> Cause I don't want it to be hard, right? So I picked this up from the dollar store. It was only a couple of bucks. Can't remember what it was. It's a, of course, cake icing piping instrument. I wouldn't use it but to make cakes, but I'm thinking this could work. So I've taken the top off and I've filled it with light molding paste. And now I'm like, right, this is a good idea. Whoops. <laughs> We're not off to a very good start. That's too blobby. So I'm just going to take that off. And I'm thinking, think it, but you want to try and keep it not too thick because, oh man, it's a little harder than I expected. <laughs> because now it's quite raised up and three dimensional, right? Like that. But I don't want it that thick. You could have it like that, but I want it to look like this. So I'm thinking we could just squash it. Now this is baking paper. Um, if you're in America, you could use probably deli paper, but baking paper is just the waxy paper that you put when you're baking something at the bottom of a pan to stop it from sticking. So I thought that would work. Ta-da! Oh man, I'm loving it! <laughs> you know this is a brand new idea, don't you? <laughs> By the sound of my voice. <laughs> you know I haven't tried this before. Most people actually, you know, prepare their videos by trying their ideas first. Nah, <laughs> if it fails, you can watch it fail. <laughs> but I think that's fabulous. That looks like that. That's not even far removed. That's not even stretching the imagination. And now that's going to dry a lot more textured, a lot more matte, and a lot more like the original paper. Now that's on baking paper, so I won't be able to probably paint that but i don't know maybe we could try it right right what do we got to lose nothing okay we'll try it but this one's on the tissue again i've just put it on my plastic dividers because i want to move it around the studio for it to dry and it's easier than trying to move around wet tissue that will tear so let's do that again because that was fun uh, i think this is a good idea so you want to get this from your dollar shop cheap as and you probably do it better than me because you probably you know bake and stuff <laughs> so put it on looks like icing don't eat it because it won't taste very good and smudge it over man that's pretty cool i'm liking that now if you put less on it won't get so smudgy that would be good i might try that with the next piece oh but even that i'm loving it now, I'm going to spray that with some eye zincs and see how it looks. I'm going to do a couple of extra ones so I can have some that are not sprayed. But even that piece to me looks fantastic. I'm loving that. That could easily go into my collage. Fabulous collage fodder by the hundreds. So that's a really cool idea. That one's working. Like I said, I tried the light molding paste because I had it. You want to grab one of these from the dollar shop and give it a go. It won't really matter what texture paste you try. Just try some, basically. Just try it. Give it a go. Have a little play and see how it comes out. I think it's, if it was thinner, it would probably be better, but then it might not too. 
I'm going to try a few more. Yes, I am. I'm going to do a few more and then we'll let all of this dry. Uh, it's probably going to take overnight. Yes, it will. My table is now covered with little sample pieces everywhere. And then we'll look and see um, what we're up to next. Yay. Right. Now, these fabulous papers have dried. Uh, these are the ones on the plastic with the matte medium. And look how easy they come off. They only come off this easy if you actually uh, push the edge so you've got something to grab. Also, they have to be completely dry. <laughs> now, I have tried uh, getting them off before they are completely dry. And let me tell you, it doesn't end well. They, are, they tear and break, so don't do it. Don't even bother. Just let them dry, probably overnight. That's what I did. And then the next day, oh, it's a brand new day and everything is dry and fabulous. Um, these look great. I absolutely love them. So simple. This is the one with the coated with the matte medium. It looks fabulous. It would work so well in collage. They rip a lot better than I expected. Uh, I thought they might have been a bit harder to tear, but they're not. So if I wanted to tear this out as a circle shape and put it as a uh, like a focal point or a main feature on one of my collages, it would be so, so easy to do. I absolutely am so loving making these because you make a whole heap at once and then you put them in a folder or a box or something and then you've got them for when you want them. Look at that. It's fantastic. So this is a great idea. This has worked really well. Also, the just on the tissue works well. Very happy with that. I can easily tear these out and use them for elements in my collage as well. You've just got to be bothered to make a whole heap at once. And then you'll have all of this incredible collage fodder to use when you're creating. Yay! It's just fabulous. Right, now this idea of using the string gel and the tar gel is fabulous. Look at the glorious circles and uh, shapes that it makes. My first thought was to create some acrylic skins, which means you just put it on the plastic divider that I've been using for everything and let it dry and you can peel it off. And there you have fully plastic. I mean, check it out. <laughs> That's plastic, baby. <laughs> you have an acrylic skin made from the string gel or the tar gel, which is a cool idea because then you can glue that into a collage as an element. See? Anywhere. But my problem is, is that it's very fiddly. And see, now I'll be trying to take it off this piece. It takes a bit of time to get it up. And if you're impatient... Uh, like I tend to be, um, it just kind of requires more patience than I have. <laughs> and also, because the lines are so fine, um, it can kind of fold back on itself really quickly and become really tangled. So I don't think this is a brilliant idea, you know. So it does come off and you have this fabulous acrylic skin to use. But I don't know, it's too much time and it's too fiddly and ain't nobody got time for that. So <laughs> I'm thinking, that, you know, this, this one's not great. Don't be bothered with this idea is all I'm saying because it, it's too much fiddle for me. Way too much fiddle and I can't be bothered with that. Righto. So we won't worry about that one. However, this string gel on the tissue... And I know it's string gel because I marked it. <laughs> Looks absolutely fabulous. I love that. So if I'm going to use this in collage, it's just on tissue, which let me tell you is way easier to handle than what I was thinking. Uh, look at that. I can now tear around that tissue and create that fabulous circle shape. And when the tissue is put on the collage, it will dissolve and it, you'll see whatever is behind it that you're putting it on top of will come through because the tissue will go transparent. Yay! So that looks absolutely fabulous. That works really, really well. And look at my glorious red. Yes, loving it. So that one's a winner. We'll keep that idea. 
So this is the Tar Gel. I know that because I know it. Um, just as beautiful with the glorious golden interference bronze. And the white works really well. They will tear off easy. They make fabulous elements for the collage. Have a look at this one. I think I'm loving these ones the best of these mediums because look how glorious those shapes are. Oh, just think that's absolutely beautiful. I love the crazy string marks there of the string gel. I love that it's super shiny. I would put that as an element on top of a collage. You know, I'm going to have to do it because <laughs> I think that's absolutely beautiful. Now, if you don't like shiny, you can always put matte medium over it. So here's one that I did on one of last week's pages. That's the print of the bubble wrap. Then I've sprayed it with the icings and then I've dribbled this string gel on it and it looks great. Fabulous. This one's on a coated page from last week with the bubble wrap coated with the matte medium and that looks fabulous. Loving it, loving it, loving all of it. All of these are working really, really well. Glorious colors, fabulous designs. Now this one's from last week as well and I started to tear it to see, this is a coated one. I wanted to see how easy it would be to tear the shape and let me tell you, it is so flaming easy. It's incredible. I thought it would be harder. It's not. It's not. Look at that. So easy to tear the shape on the coated tissues. It's just as easy as the uncoated. The coated one just makes them a bit stronger. And look at that. That is fabulous. That can go straight into a collage. And I'm loving it. I know, I know. I just kept going. <laughs> this is another page from last week with the bubble wrap. It just looks beautiful. And this one is a paper packaging, piece of paper packaging, one of my favorite things to use, a jelly print from the gel plate on the background, and then I've drizzled the string gel on it. And I would use that just like that. It would look stunning. So these are the ones that I drizzled onto the tissue with the matte medium. Now I put matte medium on my plastic file folder. I put the piece of tissue down. I then drizzled the string gel onto it because I just wanted to see what it would do, right? See how easy it is to pull up? Yes, so easy, as long as it's dried. It has to be dry or you'll be sorry because you'll tear it to pieces. Yeah, I might have done that, but it is all research. <laughs> it can get a little stuck if it's a little thick, but... Um, it's absolutely fabulous. I think the matte medium really does add something to the tissue. It makes it a bit stronger, super shiny on the back. But again, I could tear these elements out, put them into collage. And I have now an absolutely fabulous collection to use whenever I want to. Look at the bronze. Isn't it glorious? Just love it. So these experiments have worked really really well i'll now have a ton of beautiful elements to use for my collage which ones do you like the best do you like the scribbled ones or do you like the string gel yeah i don't know i think i'm liking both do we like just the plain tissue or do we like the coated tissue it's all really easy to use they all tear really easy i mean look at that i love that um, so I think we're cooking with gas here. This is really working. I'm loving these papers. So this page here has got string gel, clearly, and it's just clear. I just used the clear string gel, put it onto uh, plain tissue, haven't done anything else to it, and it came off fairly easy. Like, hello, that was really easy, <laughs> which I'm pretty happy about. Uh, it looks fabulous. Look. Let's see through like glass. <laughs> I love it. I think that is great. I could use it just like that because whatever you put it on is going to come through and that would create an incredibly beautiful layering effect in your collage. Yes, we're going to have to do it. I know. These would work 
really really well they would look stunning in your collage because you'd be able to see that background underneath and it would just have that beautiful circle element on top i'm loving this i think this is really successful we could also spray this um, if we wanted a different color so hold the phone caller and let's just do that right and just like that <laughs> Here's one I prepared earlier. It is string gel. <laughs> it looks fabulous. Now, it's still a little damp. But, ooh, she's coming off all right. So we're okay. We're okay. Um, so, basically, the tissue, I left it on the fabulous plastic file folder. You need these. They're amazing. And sprayed it with the eye zincs. Seth Apta Dye Spray. That's what I used last week, and that's what I just used um, before to spray this fabulous tissue. Love them. They're awesome. Use them all the time. This is tea. doesn't look like the tea I drink, but it's tea. I'm okay with that. Look how fabulous that looks. So whether you leave them plain, white, or spray them, or paint them, they look absolutely fantastic. I love the line of the string gel i think that crazy wiggly line is absolutely fascinating it makes an amazing shape and this is a glorious idea look at that that's fabulous i can easily tear those elements out and put them into a collage and they would look absolutely wonderful that was extremely easy to do put your tissue down on something plastic because it'll stick otherwise Put down your string gel, no colours, no fuss, no nothing. And then there you go. That's what you've got, this beautiful element. And then I sprayed it with the eye zings. I mean, hello, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. This one's the easiest and really, really effective. You could do anything with it. I want to spray the other one now. <laughs> but I think I'll leave it white because it looks really beautiful and pearly. And I like that. Righto. We have got so many fabulous papers. It's so exciting. And these techniques are absolutely simple. Yay! Now, this is the beautiful white um, handmade roses that I did with the light molding paste and my piping bag. Oh my gosh, wasn't that fun? Yes, it was. <laughs> I had a lot of fun. This is straight onto the tissue. I haven't coated it or done anything else with it because I really like it. I think this one probably is the most similar to the feel of the Handmade Roses paper, the original inspiration. I think that this paper probably feels the most like it because it is matte, flat and textural with just that uh, molding paste. Now remember, you can use any molding paste. I just used the light one because I had it in my studio and I thought it would coat better on the tissue, but I'm pretty sure the other ones would work just as well. So that's our original inspiration. And that's my fabulous molding paste version. And I really like it. I think it's fabulous. I think they're going to make glorious elements for collage. They're very easy to tear out. I mean, look at this because it's just on the tissue. And it basically tears around the edge of the shape that you formed. And it looks fabulous. It feels good in your hands because it's that matte um, molding paste texture. I love it. That is an absolute winner. I really think this one is probably most like the original inspiration. But I do like all of these versions and varieties. And it's been so much fun. So that's the um, one on the tissue. And then these ones are the ones that's on the baking paper that I used to squash it down. They turned out fabulous too. I mean, this is just as easy to use. Look at them. They're absolutely wonderful. They're just as easy to tear on the baking paper. Um, that would work quite simply with matte medium in my collage. This element would get stuck down. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. You've got more collage fodder than you could possibly know what to do with. That looks fabulous. I'm loving it. Now, of course, they don't have to stay white because we love spraying things. 
<laughs> well, I do anyway. So I took one of these beautiful white pieces on the tissue and I sprayed it. Of course I did. And of course I chose red. I used post box red, which is this Dilution Shimmer Spray. I used this one for the original Handmade Roses when I was making collage. I used it in one of them. So I thought I'd try it and see how well this idea sprayed up. And let me tell you, this is a winner. Look at that. Look at that. It looks fabulous. Oh, look at the back too. Then you can see the shapes of them. So this would easily tear out. I mean, you could use the whole piece if you wanted to. Or you could easily tear out the individual element. Yes, I'm loving this idea. This has worked really well for a $2 item from the dollar store. That piping bag thing has worked amazing. Love that, that is glorious. That is absolutely successful. We can, you can make all sorts of shapes with that, but I'm loving it for this roses idea. And of course, you can make them any color. I mean, I'm loving the white, but of course, I love that too. Oh, why don't we spray some licorice? Yes, okay. <laughs> okay, you convinced me. <laughs> Let's just move everything. How about I spray this one with licorice? It's still on my glorious plastic file folder because I find them easy to move around the studio. And it, once you spray it, uh, moving the tissue then can cause it to tear. So I like using these. This is the Isinx Seth Apter Licorice. Love it. One of my faves. You've seen me use it a few times. I was going crazy during the 100 days of collage. Spraying everything. Oh man, come on. That is just glorious. Yes and yes. That's all I can say about that. I'm glad you talked me into it. <laughs> so that now has to dry, but that is fabulous. You can easily see the beautiful shape of the rose and I love it. The elements work really well. They're gonna be fantastic in collage. Right, now any of these ideas and techniques, you can change and use different pastes or different gels or different mediums or different shapes or different colors. Like, hello, it's endless what you can create with a few simple techniques, some ideas and a little bit of courage. Yay! So these are all successful. I'm loving all these papers. I'm now drowning in circles. And I'm pretty sure we should put a collage together. A little one, maybe, baby. <laughs> but what are we going to use? Which ones do you like the best? That's the question. Can you just answer me? <laughs> oh, what about this one? I don't know, man. There's so many here to use. I don't know which one I like the best, but pretty sure I should use something. So these papers have dried with the um, light molding paste roses on the beautiful tissue and I sprayed with licorice. Yay, look how good they look. I'm so excited. I think this is one of the best representations of that actual look and feel of the original Handmade Roses paper, I think. I love it. They are beautiful. I will definitely be using these. And what you could also do is cluster them on the page. So you could get your piece of tissue, maybe do smaller ones, but cluster them together. That would be really cool too. I might try that next. Yeah. So they're glorious. I love them. That idea worked really, really well. Yay. So here is my plethora of beautiful and amazing circles inspired by the glorious handmade roses paper. I am just loving these papers. They're absolutely fabulous, all of them. I can't decide which ones I love the best. I'm loving this beautiful red one and it's glorious intricate line of the string gel. I love that. But then I also love just the plain scribble ones. Um, this is with the matte medium. That works really well. It's nice and tough. 
uh, that's easier to handle. But, you know, these glorious little ones in the bronze, they are definitely going to be used in my collages. But talking about bronze, have a look at this one. That was on, I put the matte medium on my plastic. I put a tissue page down and then I put the tar gel. I didn't put anything else on top of it. So it's still got that beautiful shiny look, but it's on a coated tissue. Easy to use, easy to put into your work. And it just makes it a little bit more opaque, the background. So it um, stands out more. I love that. This works really well. But then I also absolutely love the transparency of the string gel by itself on tissue. This one's been sprayed, but even the ones that are white look amazing. I mean, seriously, seriously, <laughs> it just goes on and on and on. I'm loving the string gel on last week's papers. They work so well. So each week we're just building on these ideas. I mean, I'm having so much fun. So which ones do you like the best? Which technique? Do you like which pattern do you personally kind of respond to? We're definitely making collage out of some, one, a few of these glorious papers, but I just don't know which ones because there's too many. And I think we're going to be doing that next week. So look at that. That's so simple. Like, hello. So come back next week. And we'll definitely put a collage together. Might even do a few using some of these glorious papers and these fabulous handmade roses. Yay! I hope you really enjoyed this process of making these papers. It's a bit of a series I'm doing for the next few weeks. I'm personally loving it. And also it's building your collection, right? So you want to put all these into files or boxes. What I'm personally going to do is the ones with the gel medium with the string gel and the tar gel, I will put that now between a piece of baking paper because this is very acrylic paint and, and it will stick for sure, without a doubt. So if I wanna put these two beautiful circles in a uh, packet together, I will slip a little piece of baking paper between them just so they don't stick because I might not use them for a while and I would cry if I wrecked them because I think they're stunning, I love them. Same with this one. Uh, you probably wouldn't need to do that if you're storing these ones that are matte flat. They'll be okay. These ones could possibly sit together without, you know, fighting. They'll be okay. <laughs> but I don't think that this one here would sit happily. I think this one would stick. So I would put ba baking paper. Anyway, that's just my storage tips because these are fabulous elements or fodder for your collage. I absolutely love them and I love that I'll have this huge little storehouse of beautiful things to be able to put in when we're making collage because you know it'll happen. We'll do another whole series again. I just know it. Anyway, fabulous. We're going to put something together next week. Come back and join me. Oh, and don't forget to check out my Skillshare class, my brand new one because it is a whole lot of fun. Yay! Yeah.